Yo, what's up, guys? This is Pedro. Uh, welcome once again to Pit Flow. It's been a while, guys, and I have a very interesting uh, topic for you today. And uh, as you've already known, uh, I'm going to talk about stop run or uh, stop hunt. Uh, a lot of people have their own, uh, you know, uh, explanation to this or their own terms to it. Right, it's all about price giving you a fake out. Right, or price giving you uh, uh, price manipulating you that is the word all right so how to stay away or how to you know uh, skip this let me explain further okay i'm going to use this chat to just give you a little bit of a uh, breakdown okay assuming you're in a swing high move okay coming down to a swing low swing high swing low swing high all right then you have this shoot and price goes back up. Now, what do you think over here? Assuming someone is seeing a buy from this this level, okay? Someone is seeing a buy from this level. As soon as the person start being in profit, maybe the person has done a projection that price is going to go all the way up to this level. The person puts, you know, definitely if it's me, I'll try to protect my trade by put bringing my stop loss into a profit zone. All right, and then leaving it around this level, I'll leave price out. It should keep on going up, and I later come back and realize I've been taken out, and price goes all the way back up. Now, the drop, okay. The motive of this drop, price dropping all the way here, is a stop run. And why is a stop run? Why do we? Um, uh, what's the word? Why do we see stop runs in our trades? Because markets don't want to help you make money. The market don't want to uh, incur more costs in making you profitable. The market wants to take from you. And that is the truth. So this stop run is manipulative and it makes you think otherwise. So let me put it this way. If somebody might be observing his or her trade, all right, and the person is in a buy from here, with price coming down here, the person might all could have closed his or her trade. Someone would have had the stop loss, as I said, and would have been taken out. Great. What's the next thing? Someone will also think of price going bearish. Let me take out some of the kind of the uh, drawing so that we can have a look at here. Now, at this same point, someone was also going to see here as a retracement. Okay, we have a divergence. I know you understand divergence now. We have a breaker, all right? We have a retracement and expecting price to go further lower, right? So um, my, my way of fusion, or let's say the way I see my swings are based on candlestick only, all right? I don't rely on trend line to give me my, my swings or sorry, my, um, uh, my market highs and lows, like, taking in a trend line and drawing and say, yeah, this is where price is going or something. I don't do this, please. I don't do this. It might be good for someone, but I don't use this. I, I use the naked candlesticks to do my, to perform my analysis, All right? So I don't use this. So what I'm trying to say here is that um, I'm going to later break this candlesticks down for you to see what I see so that you understand this top run thing that is taking a lot of people's money that is really making people run at loss in their first uh, trading journey all right so now i'm going to use uh, the whiteboard to explain further concerning this um, stop run thing all right so this is stop run um, normally uh, i'm going to uh, look at all of these as candlesticks okay swing highs and swing lows and if you don't understand this i'm going to share a link below on how i qualify my swing highs and swing lows using the candlesticks i don't use a, a push in price i assume there are several candlesticks here and i consider all of them as um, uh, swing high no i see swing highs and swing lows in the candlesticks and i use that to read the out the utmost what swings in price I'll talk about that. I think I'll share a link. Don't worry, I'll share a link concerning that so that you find it easy to read the chat, right? So now, um, what do we have here? 
Now, what we have here is um, price going up and price coming down. Price going up and price coming down. No low is taken out. Price goes up, price comes down. No low is taken out until price comes down to take out the low. Now, that becomes what uh, we call divergence, right? Thinking price is about to go lower, right? So if we think price is about to go lower, we're expecting price to at least respect what the previous or the last swing high. Okay, the same way it did when it was when it was going bullish, price was respecting the last swing low. So if price is gonna go bearish, price has to start respecting the last swing highs. So price should have done this. Okay, which these are what the books tell us that price normally do, all right? But we are all aware, most of us or some of us who are already traders for a long while know it's never 100%. No setup, no nothing. Even what I'm about to talk to you about is never 100%. Right. So this is it. This is divergence. Now I'm going to talk about stop run or stop read. Others call it the readers, others call it the hit and run and so on and so forth. Now, why does this happen? When price comes to take out one swing low, which is this area, when price comes to take out this swing low the secret to identifying readers is when price comes to take out one swing low here and goes all the way back up what happens and i'm going to explain further all right this is just something i'm just talking about you know? all right so um now meaning um when you look that means on this stretch okay on this stretch all the way here in a smaller time frame let's assume this is a four hour chart okay for hr for hr for our chart okay this tells us that there is several swing lows okay there are several liquidities you know about liquidity i have it in my uh, one of the videos kindly go through my channel you will see it that means there are liquidities in a stretch right so uh, or some several some equal loads of something in a smaller time frame here so price looks at it right sorry comes down and read it all price will just come down read it all and then go back up so to qualify if uh, uh, you are uh, your your this let's say this breaker which is i'm, I'm sure you know what the breaker is Please go through my channel. I have lessons that could help you understand this particular. It's because this topic is very important. Now, um, this is your breaker, right? And I know you know this. This is your breaker because it has taken out a low. For it to qualify as a, a, a solid breaker, is when you go into a smaller time frame, there shouldn't be a lot of lows taken out on this stretch. Okay. When there are a lot of lows taken out on this stretch, it means price came to read people's stop losses. Price came to activate people's sell stops. Uh, price came to activate some people's buy limits and, and scare them. Okay, because um, if, if I'm going to go back a little bit to explain this further, okay, and let's say I take out this, take out that, take it out, take out this. Definitely, there's, there is um, a continuous behavior here. We have retracement and a buy the person is going to put his or his stop loss here we have retracement and a buy the person is going to put his or her stop loss here right or here now the next buy comes in the person is going to put his or his stop loss right under it you see and price keep going so when price sees this price would like to read because they are now there will, there's going to be a lot of buy, buy pressures here and there's going to be some kind of liquidity here so what will price do? The market will just target profit. So they'll just come down to read profit and go back up. So let me explain further. Now we have stop losses here on the last low. We have liquidity. As I said, there will be several swing lows on this stretch in a smaller time frame. Okay, on this stretch, there are going to be swing lows in a smaller time frame. I'll explain further. All right. When I go to the chart, you explain the more. You sorry, you understand the more. So when price comes all the way down reading okay it's going to rate people's stop losses okay and now over here at this stretch someone would definitely put in a buy 
because it happens all the time and might put a stop loss below the previous swing low, which is what the book tells us for the time. So as soon as you enter a buy, market will just come raise that place and continue going up. All right. But in this time frame, you not see these kind of breakers that I'm showing over here. On this time frame, you only see price dropping, breaking an area and going back up. It happens several times. It's, it happens lots of times. This is stop run. This is what stop run is all about. It's only trying to read buy pressures and sell pressures, shaking the market, putting fear in you and clearing your mismanaged uh, uh, trade, all right? And also greed because somebody might be in a heavy trade here, you know, being a good buy, okay? With a huge lot size, the person's account cannot even hold a negative to this area. So if um, this area, this negative here is about, let's say, 50 pips, and from here to here, the person makes about 100 pips, the person might not close, the person wants to keep on making money, keep on going, but his account might not hold 50 pips. So these are all part of it. These are psychological manipulation. Okay, greed. So that is top one. There are instances just um, in a bigger time frame like this four hour chart. Okay, um, price can also do perform the same thing here. Okay, so over here, instead of price taking out one low, sometimes it will just come take out two lows in four hour. That means this four hour chart is a stop run zone in a bigger time frame. So this tells us that um, let me uh, use this color for okay i'm using this color for maybe daily chart okay so the whole of this is one day okay um one day chart okay all right so this is a daily chart the uh, pink uh, uh swings are daily chart okay so uh in this daily chart the whole of this is one full what buy so if that is the case and price sells all the way down here, okay, you realize that price has taken more than one low. That is top run in daily. All right, that is top run in daily chart. So it means that four hour was the reason of four hour chart has a lot of liquidity to be rated. So price can take out at least two lows in that smaller time frame. And then with daily chart, it's just one break in market, one low taken out. All right. So in daily chart, this is just breaking market structure. Sorry. Um, oh, sorry, sorry. Okay. So one breaking market structure, price going all the way back up. Now, to confirm if we are really in a broken direction, or oh, sorry, we are really in a divergence, you will see the behavior here that confirms if you are going to be bullish. And a behavior here that confirms if the bullish sentiment is still going to be continuous. If not, you get a behavior here that is going to ask us to go down. So this is traders. Okay, and it's it, it doesn't stay there for long. When traders happen, okay, when price is raiding an area, it doesn't stay there for long, depending on the time frame that the read starts happening from. All right, so this is what stop run is all about. Okay, you can just um, use the same to look at it in a very sentiment. All right, now let me go to the chart and let me explain it further. Um, when you come to the chart, I can use um, this area. Where is my two? All right, a second. Okay. All right, so I'm zooming in a little bit. All right, then I'll scroll to this level. Okay. So over here, now, um, this was the last swing when price was shooting all the way up, all right? Now, pay attention. When price started going bullish, this low was not taken out. The last swing low was this area. Please, if you don't understand this particular um, um, uh, lesson, you have to go and watch qualifying swing lows and highs with a candlestick in my channel. It will help you understand this. Okay, so I'm continuing. Uh, we have the last swing low here. 
and price went up and the last swing low here and price bought again now when price came all the way down you realize price rated even more than two lows he rated three lows these are one of the dangerous trades people rather like to indulge the book will tell you bullish or bearish engulfing meaning price is strong or the bearish candle the, the uh, price is bearish or the bearish um, uh, sentiment is stronger than the bullish sentiment right or that, that means there are more sellers in the market that is what they normally say but you could see that after this price is what it was bought back all the way up for several this is a weekly chart for almost i think seven months or eight months price has been bullish or six months all right in uh which day was it? i think 2020 all right so you need to understand stock run so in this time frame this is a weekly chart in this time frame this is what you have price has rated definitely this here proves that price is going to be bearish before you have a breaker you have a retracement and price was supposed to go down and that was what most of us would have thought right not knowing it was a manipulative move it was a stop run okay so now understanding this area we have to go into a smaller time frame i think this is a weekly chart okay so i think we will rather go into a daily chart because this is uh, the area where several um, uh, uh, several uh, several lows were taken out that is the area where the liquidity is that is where the stop run happens so you go into a bigger time frame to see what showed up over there all right so um we go let me mark this area let me use this rectangle rather shape rectangle and mark this area okay so i'm going into a monthly chart let's see what happened okay okay now in monthly chart this is the area where the raid happened so i'm taking this box from there this is the area where the raid happened this area okay you could see that even in the bigger time frame if one low wasn't taken out over here you couldn't even take out a low let me see if i can use a proper tool let me use this one this was the last swing low in this time frame but in this time frame there was a, a minor stop run here okay which uh, i'll explain in a future video okay there is a stop run here in, a, in this particular time frame so this drop was to come to complete the run okay was to come to complete this uh, this is a, a topic i'll talk about another time all right so this read happened and it was a serious manipulative one okay so price came down and came to scare people people closed their trades and run run you could see that same month price returned back to where it started from the next month quickly it ran away from there because by then they've what done what they've locked up a lot of people they've, they've triggered a lot of sell trades from any of these levels now they've triggered a lot of stop losses from those who are buying from here who stop losses might be around these areas okay and a lot might have happened this is stop run okay this is stop run and um that is what price uses to uh, escape right escape a lot of us okay because it's very very um, scary sometimes or sensitive now when we come to um, this level i'm coming to this area again uh, mm -hmm. this is the last swing low the last swing high and then we got a breaker all right this is one breaker came to take out the low now to understand price breakdown you need to break everything down to smaller time frames swing low and a swing high we have a breaker and this also the price is supposed to go lower all right now price came down went up created another stop run rush all the way back up with it and since then price has been rushing all the way back up so kindly watch um the previous video on a qualifying candlestick it will help you understand the stop run because the stop run is what they use to
to manipulate you. It's what they use to take your money. And you need to understand it properly. And now you need to know what time frame to study a stop run. Okay, and it's very, very important. You need to know what time frame to break down to help you. And that you will be profitable. Okay, uh, I spoke of liquidity. They all work like stop run. So I hope this tutorial helps you and then you get to know things well. We had a, a stop run here. We had a breakout and price, price rushed all the way, gave you another stop run, and then it went all the way back up. So please watch that video, get back to this one, because I'm going to prepare another video concerning the stop run. This is just the beginning, and uh, we'll talk more. And thank you so much for your time, and I hope this makes sense. Thank you. All the best. Bye.